A suspected drunk driver is accused of killing a woman in an early morning wreck in Arlington. Good evening and thanks for staying up late with us tonight. I'm Blake Hansen. 38 year old Michael Bailey is charged with intoxication manslaughter after police say he caused a chain reaction crash on I-20 just before 2.30 yesterday morning. Officers say that crash caused an 18 wheeler to jackknife in the path of a car driven by 21 year old Samantha Skaggs of Fort Worth who died at the scene. Fox News Peyton Yeager spoke with Skaggs' family and joins us now with an update on the investigation. Peyton. 21-year-old Samantha Skaggs is now missed by so many. She had a full-time job. She was a college student and she had tons of friends. And then her family received a heartbreaking phone call about the horrific crash. A suspected drunk driver caused a pileup on the interstate. Because she got ready for work her last shift at, in our room. And the last person to use my perfume was her. She wanted to use my perfume. And she did her homework for the last time on my bed. For Jessica Van Syke, she had no idea it would be the last time she would spend time with her baby sister. Just a few hours after saying their final goodbye, police say Samantha Skaggs was killed in a drunk driving crash. So I have a nice last memory, but it doesn't make it any less... Um, hurtful, yeah. painful. Samantha, a twin, both just turned 21 years old. She was a student at Tarrant County College studying social work, but her older sister says her passion was cosmetology and caring for others. She was so fun. She was a lot of fun. She'd always make you laugh, always make you feel better. However, 2 a.m. Friday morning, that bright future was cut short. Samantha was on her way home on I-20 after dropping a friend off. Arlington police say in front of her 38-year-old Michael Bailey swerved into a tractor trailer in a different lane, causing both vehicles to lose control. The trailer and truck tractor spread across all the lanes on I-20, including even the shoulder. With little time to react, police say Samantha crashed into the side of the trailer. She was pronounced dead at the scene and Bailey was booked into jail for intoxication manslaughter. Just observing him, his demeanor, his pupils, his speech. And she's going to do great things in life. Van Syke says this is now her third family member who has died at the hands of an impaired driver. Van Syke lost two younger siblings when they were just toddlers. My parents are just having to th bury three children is just really hard still pleading for her message to be taken seriously. If you just pay attention to the road, don't drink and drive, quit texting and driving. Police say they are still waiting for Bailey's blood test to come back, but tell us he did fail his sobriety test on scene. Meanwhile, Samantha's family is planning for her funeral to be in Arlington so her friends can attend.